what's up guys? We're ready for Road Trip 2011. Yes. We're doing something a little different though. What's going on, Mike? Well, this time instead of uh, driving to a video game store from Raccoon City into the US, we are actually uh, here in the lovely city of Vancouver, which is overcast and snowy and cold as hell. Uh, but we're actually, we're gonna go, we're gonna set up with a few of the other uh, YouTubers and some friends, and we're going to head into Seattle. Who do we got in the fucking back seat right now? Right now we have Derek, the completionist. Turn left. Hey guys, turn shut left. that bitch up! <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks, you fucking asshole. <laughs> Glad to see the drivers of Vancouver are very similar to the drivers in Raccoon City. Complete dickheads. Yep. All right, and uh, who else is lurking in the back? I got uh, Sean back here. Hey, Sean. Uh, yeah, Sean's uh, Sean's been a good friend of mine for many years, even though he hated my guts when he first met me. Uh, through attrition, he, he learned that he just had to put up with me, and well, here we are. It's been a hard 19 years. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so um, we've come out to Vancouver to visit some friends, and uh, we've been here a couple of days, and we've had some good times, and now we're gonna go down and visit some more friends that uh, that I met at PAX, that Sean and I met at PAX. We're gonna hang out with them, and uh, they're Seattle boys. So they're going to uh, they're going to hook us up. And apparently we took a wrong turn. We got to do a U-turn. There so you go. The road trip has been artificially extended, just like most RPGs. Oh. oh. So is this like <laughs> is this like the driving equivalent of grinding? Yes. Yes. We have to have uh, uh, several kilometers under our belt before we can actually go onto a certain highway. There you go. And I'm looking at a. I'm I'm looking at a. Uh, where the fuck is North Fraser? <laughs> it's kind of funny that we have to come to Vancouver to see snow. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. Yeah, no, you're, you're, you picked a bad year to push it. Wow, you guys ride. You guys ride in style. What up, motherfucker? <laughs> Get your ass in. You on you on camera. Be pretty. <laughs> you on can camera. Where are the cameras? One over there. One over here. Another one right there. One in the backs. And when you don't Get know about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you don't know. <laughs> All right, we got uh, we got the next person. We are filling up to capacity, but not just yet. Hey DJ. What up? Who are you? I'm DJ. All right. <laughs> I have a show that is starting up, hopefully. Um, it's Kazako on YouTube. I'm. Uh, I'm. We're subscribed. Yeah. E even though you know, I actually I think we're the first subscribers. So word up, bitch. <laughs> so get some fucking content up there. Yeah. All right. So we got uh, we got all the Canadian crew at this point, and a. Uh, a and uh, let, let's let's uh, let's uh, let them know what uh, what today's gonna be a boot, eh? Oh, oh that's nice. we, we forgot the hockey sticks and maple syrup. All right, yeah. that's if we're not stopped by border uh, security first. Oh yeah, Paso Puerto, <laughs> Paso Puerto. <laughs> Fuck. So we basically spent like almost two hours at border. Yeah, crazy. Uh, and you always love being in the wrong lane as you see the next lane over to you actually has the option of going to two booths. I believe if it, we would have gone through a lot faster if one of us wasn't sporting the, uh, the pedal stash. <laughs> but uh, I can't believe we weren't like like pulled out. The pedal stash is not good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm growing a respectful, you know, pedophile beard. But yeah. we got the pedal stash in the back the there. Yeah. And, and, even, <laughs> and even though we're a couple of days out and that whole thing about not being able to carry razor blades in, uh, uh -oh. <laughs> in your carry-on, I haven't been shaving, but I've been actually, not as a protest against Movember, I just think mustaches look retarded on like 9 out of 10 people. <laughs> DJ is yeah. the only person that's got it kicking with that pedal stash. <laughs> So we're 103 miles outside of Seattle, and we got uh, one more stop to make. We got typical West Coast weather going on here too. Nice overcast, dark. Well, at least it's not raining. So that's it. We're going down to Seattle. We're gonna overcapacitate this minivan. Spend some money. Spend some money, and uh, we're gonna do some eat. <laughs> this is our last day of our trip. So we know we just set the ex expectations so high, like we usually do. Expectations set by chargeback forward here. Expectations given. <laughs> I don't think a camera can go that low. <laughs> Like Mike, like we've a um, uh, one year you and I did the road trip with Dave, but I think two yeah. years in a row we did it just us. Just us, yeah. And now we're now we got a crew. Yeah, yeah. we got, we, yeah. got our, we have fucking friends in the house. It's only a matter of time, and we're gonna have a bus. You know, it'd be really funny. <laughs> yeah. that the people see us going in 
with the crew. But when we come back, it's only going to be me and you in the front seat. That's going to be hilarious. <laughs> These guys don't even know that. Yeah, yeah they, don't, no. they don't even know that. Uh, I, I packed a special bag. Yeah. And I... Uh, well, I think we can make this a kill room, right? I, I mean, uh, <laughs> people are always asking in videos, what's with the rubber gloves? Well, well rub, rubber gloves and a, and a, uh, yeah, and a, and a spatula, and a spatula, a fucking scalpel. Who knows? Who knows? No, a spatula would be much more fun here. That, would, that would take a lot. Damn! <laughs> some of our friends or to rip off some of our friends where's chasing right now just chasing <laughs> so where are we going where are we going mike seriously we're uh we're according to the gps we're following a straight line for another uh what over 100 kilometers this thing fucking better not lie to us like the old one i programmed it with laura cross voice so you know even though i told good. her to shut up yeah <laughs> shut up we're gonna go to some places that um the rest of us went to when PAX was on and Big Mike unfortunately was not with us. Just something about, you know, Seattle in August and Big Mike is, there's a mathematical equation that doesn't come together. It's, uh, yeah, stars were not perfectly aligned at that time. And, uh, who knows? Maybe next year, maybe not. Oh, we're gonna make up for it now. Hey, there's, we're, we're uh, approaching exit 263, which is Portal Way. There you go. It's oh. our first video game reference in Washington State. Yeah. Cheesecake Factory is definitely going down. We're gonna destroy the Cheesecake Factory. Oh, I'm gonna destroy the washroom in the Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> we had Indian food last night, and it was not a good scene. <laughs> I was old, I ordered. I think most of us ordered butter chicken. Butter chicken. And you know, I ordered um, an order of naan, which is bread, and then an order of rice. And there was just not enough rice to take care of the butter chicken because I ended up getting like the spiciest kind. And, she warned me, which got me feeling good because I knew it was going to be spicy. And damn, it wasn't spicy. So I needed I needed a certain ratio of rice to butter chicken to make it go down. So I, I stuck my head in the kitchen because the service was mediocre at best. And I'm like, hey, can, I, can you give me a little more rice? She brings out another full plate of rice. Now, I guess a bit of overkill, right? And then I see my bill. She charged me for the second plate of rice. So I actually went to an Indian restaurant and paid $6 for rice alone. Thank God one of our friends took the yeah. rice home. But we do have always that ratio when we go on trips. Like, you know, money and weight is here when we start, but when we finish, money's down here and weight's about right up here again. Oh, I'm, I'm, so I'm telling we're, you. We're, we're keeping, we're, we're, on, we're on pace yeah. to uh, completely destroy any any accomplishments, whether financially or physically, that we've accomplished before this trip. You know what, so. seriously, like when I go on road trips like this, like I'm, I'm honestly not anticipating on buying anything again. But what ends up happening is my entire budget for the trip is like, you know, like, my share of the car rental, the gas, but it's the food. I just love eating the food. DJ's gonna hit, you know, wants to hit a jack in the box, so we're gonna hit that up. <laughs> and obviously, Cheesecake Factory is going down. Like if a city has a Cheesecake Factory, I'm there. Yeah. How far out are we? Right now, an hour and a half. In a perfect world, it'd be an hour and a half. We're still about an hour 50. So, but if uh, if this tank can go a bit faster, I'm still waiting to see a sign <laughs> so I can gauge how much I'm going to speed. I'm just kind of kind of going flow of traffic right now. As some dude just blows by me in an, an Escalade. Escalade, yeah. Can you have any more chrome on that, sir? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got Joseph. Uh, where are you, Joseph? I'm in the right in the back. All right, guy right in the back. So it looks like Twilight around here. What gives? It's Washington. This is where Twilight was filmed. So, like, should I expect, like, girls talking really dully? Look what's happening over there. And, uh, and dudes, like, with spray-painted uh, six-packs <laughs> crying, talking about their feelings and getting all upset when they lose out the, uh, the only girl apparently in existence. <laughs> Twilight sucks, man. It's awful. The even worst part about that is every department store that I go into, they always look at me and just go, hey, you look just like that Edward guy. Oh. Aww. Yeah. Fuck, man. You ever thought about ending your life? Plenty of times. <laughs> Fuck, man. We're so sorry to hear that. Yeah, but does that work with the ladies, though, is the question. A little bit. Yeah, you'd be like, oh, Sometimes you look like that Edward I'm at a party guy. And a girl's a little bit too drunk. And she comes up to me and she starts screaming because she thinks I am Robert Patterson. Oh fuck! Well, you know, you gotta you gotta use what God gave you. Exactly. And if that means you gotta take advantage of, well, I'm not gonna say that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 don't tell them I'm not Robert Patterson. Oh. 
oh just man, go with it. you're just gonna go with it. You're like, yeah, yeah, I'm just, yeah, my name's Robert. Yeah, what's yeah, going on? Yeah, you know, Kristen Stewart's pretty hot, but uh, she's no you. Yeah. Oh <laughs> wow, wow. I, I just, bro I just actually broke up with her, and I'm a little sad. And I need a little, need a little bit of comfort. Yeah, I just need somebody to hug. You know what I mean? Oh, you may man. confuse the girls because unlike Robert, you've actually got personality and talent. And oh, <laughs> oh. Um, yeah, with regards to the whole Twilight thing, uh, I am unfortunate to have a uh, niece called uh, Bella. So unfortunately, it's my uh, uh, my sister-in-law kind of fell under the uh, the uh, Twilight craze and had to name her fucking kid a after a character. And that so, so this is like a this is a recent kind of birth. Yeah, it's my brother always said they're old enough to pee, old enough for me. Oh! <laughs> Speaking of my brother, though, he has two kids. One of them is named after a robot from uh, Xenogear, Xenosaga. I forget what the game is called. I'm pretty sure it's Xenosaga. And his name's Asher, and his other kid is named Dante. Fuck! How, 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 did, how did a woman ever let him fill her? <laughs> like the thing is, too, she had to talk him out of naming him Batman. Can you imagine? Can you imagine how popular that kid would have been in school? I'm Batman. <laughs> So guys, eight hours later, we still haven't arrived at our destination. <laughs> <laughs> we were able to get into the states and pick up Joseph, and now we're it, like we're caught in ensnared rush hour traffic. So our to-do list is being severely like tourniquet, tourniqueted, turn us something. It's going like this. Yeah. We're gonna hit, try to hit at least the two most important spots at least. Yeah. What is it? Cheesecake Factory and, <laughs> and Pink Gorilla and, Gorilla. and GameWorks. And uh, we're gonna see if we can get uh, Big Mike onto a very special spot as well. We'll see. We're trying to make it right. Trying to make it right. So guys, uh, what's going on? You like traffic? I hate it. Yeah, it's just good stuff. It's the best. You call it traffic, I call it male bonding time. Nice, nice. Can't, so Rob, Rob Man did an awesome impersonation, and even though we don't have Rob Man with us today, I, I was feeling that maybe I could channel a little, a little bit of Rob Man and kind of do Rob Man doing someone, just to pass a little time. <laughs> Even though I've just done this off camera. <laughs> Don't forget to pay him copyright infringement. All right, copyright infringement. <laughs> yeah. So this is, this, is like a, this is like a shout out to the connector. This is a shout out to like Rob Man for giving us this entertainment. Who wants to be the, uh, the person on the other end of the phone? Hello and welcome to GameStop. How may I help you? Yes. I'm calling about my copy of Skyward Sword. Do you have one on reserve? Yes. <laughs> I pre-ordered it a long time ago. Maybe three to four months ago. And I want to come pick it up. You have to come in within the first 48 hours. Otherwise, we're going to sell your copy. <laughs> And we also hate to tell you that your pre-order bonus is also out of order, so you don't get one. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm on the other side of the world making a motion picture right now. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to get to your store for another two days. And why is my pre-order bonus sold out because I pre-ordered this three or four months ago. We already gave away all the copies. If you can come in within the first 48 hours and pick it up, otherwise we'll just have to refund all your money. Also, would you like to reserve the new Call of Duty? Do, do, <laughs> do you know who I am? Fuck, fuck Call of Duty. <laughs> I want Skyward Sword. You fucking Neanderthal. <laughs> it's gonna be three days. Just tell me, friend, is it gonna be there? You gonna you gonna say this is Christopher Watkins copy? You gonna keep it there? You can go ahead and just hold on to it for you for 48 hours and then refund your money if you can't come in then. You fucking guy! <laughs> I pre-ordered this, you piece of shit. I'm gonna fucking kill your family. Fucking guy. No, I'm serious. I'm, I'm joking. Just 
put my name on it and put it to the side, will you, Billy Boy? Come in within the first 48 hours. You fucking guys, shut the <laughs> fuck up! I'm gonna fucking rape your family! <laughs> Yeah. Saying Mark of the Wolves. Yeah. Oh! Whoops, oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I'm so okay. sorry. <laughs> at least it was empty. Yeah. And Mark and Mark of the Wolves while you're at it. Yeah, and the Mark of the Wolves.